Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. So this episode we are going to be building an automatic tree farm. I've kind of set up the area here. Um, basically the idea is we are going to be using Mine Factory. Um, they have some items here. I don't know where it is. But there's like there's a harvester and there is... Where is it? I know it's there. Oh there it is. Planter. Um, that will automatically plant seeds and automatically harvest the items. So we're going to be setting that up. Um, I'll quickly show the lower area to show you guys what I set up. So I set up here about, a, I believe it's 7x7 seven seven area. Yeah, 7x7 seven seven, uh, dirt patch. Then I have the center empty. Um, this is where the planter is going to go, just down here. Um, here I have a test rack set up bringing power over. So both the things are going to be pulling power from here for the harvester and the test rack. Then... Um, I have it set up that the items are going to be pulled out and they're going to be taken over to these oak barrels where it'll uh, generate tons of uh, dirt for me because it'll be grabbing saplings and stuff like that from the trees and then bring that to the test rack as well as well as any of uh, extra uh, wood. Um, yeah, so let's go get uh, start building. So starting off, we're going to build the planter. That uh, is pretty simple. Um, basically flower pots. So let's go get that. I think that's the first thing that I don't have ready. So I don't actually have much clay. Uh, I haven't automated clay yet. Okay, so we need copper gears, redstone rec uh, reception coil, some pistons, a machine frame, basic one. You don't need like one of the, any of the advanced ones for this, as well as plastic sheets. So there we go. We got our planter. Okay, and the next thing, where is it? Harvester. Yeah, let's go build that. So some axes, shears, gears, stuff like that, and done. Okay, so the, anyways, this is going to be a simple one. Let's go bring that back down. We're going to head back over here and jump down the hole again. Oh, first, actually, let me set up the harvester. Oh, facing the wrong direction. Okay. Um, can I just use the gear for that? Perfect. There we go. Oh, shit. Does it have to be in the back? I wonder if the item has to be in the back. I do want to shear leaves. Um, I mean, if that is the case, I can always just... There we go. And extract. Okay. Then let's see. Planter has to be down a level lower, so it's like that. Now let's make sure it's getting power. Insert. Okay. Oh, it's something I forgot to do back when we were building stuff, but like. Let me just check this out up here again. I totally left, I totally put the water bucket away. I don't know why. But let's go grab that. And then we're going to also I got, uh, grab two upgrades that we're going to make. Let's see. So first let's upgrades. Uh, upgrade tin. That's what we want. Um, oh, shit. Shift click. Oh, do I not have plastic? I have plastic. Is it just not in there? What? Okay. Shit. I will get plastic and be back soon. Okay, and here we go. Got the supplies. That was very quick. Um, we're going to get two tin upgrades because our space is only 7x7. Seven seven, and basically the way they uh, do the sizing is it starts off with a 3x3 three three square with the item being in the center. And then so it's saying a radius increase of 2. So that's the 3 plus 2 on each side, which brings it to 7. Uh, okay. So done here. Uh, I need the water bucket. Where did I put it? There we go. Oh, did I just grab something? I didn't mean to. Oh, well. Okay. So now we just place the water in here. And now I need some saplings. And I just want to make sure that this is all going to be working properly. Should be enough. Now, I'm setting this up as a tree farm, but you guys, um, you can use any farm that there is. Uh, any farm that there is. Like, um, pretty much any crops besides magical crops, is to my understanding. But, like, basic seeds, stuff like that. Now, something in here as well is, um, if you can slightly see on the top of this block, there's, like, the red, yellow, or red, orange, yellow. I think it's red, orange, yellow. Red, yellow, green. Um, they have the colors representing a filter. So, say I put this here, and then do that. Oh, I didn't give it an upgrade. 
and it didn't seem to okay there ish no it's not listening the filter the idea of the filter is it's supposed to only put trees in that spot but okay whatever it really doesn't matter to me <laughs> um okay so we got our sapling set now let's see is this thing working at all Oh, it's, they're not growing yet, so let's twerk. Is the twerking working? Oh, I think I turned my particle loss, particles off, or... Let's just use... Okay, oh, there we go. And let's see, is it going to get the tree? Okay, perfect. So, now one thing I have to worry about is uh, it's generating sludge, and I haven't put any, uh, I have to figure out where to store liquids, because I don't really have much uh, liquid storage yet. Um, okay, look at that, and that's going to all generate me, uh, get me tons of dirt, and then afterwards it should, I want to kind of just watch and see, is it going to grab the dirt and bring it to the Tesseract after? It should. Now, also, I should actually be making something, I believe, so that the saplings circle back around to the planter. Um, so let's actually get that set. Um, make this, so that has a higher priority before the Tesseract. So it makes sure it's to fill up with saplings. I hope it will only do saplings. I'm trying to think of, like, what else would drop. Oh, they've already d dispensed. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that was working. I think that's... Is it all working perfectly, then? Oh, my God, please, please, please. <laughs> okay, so on the back here, I ins uh, added an ender fluid conduit and added the portable tank, and now it's ins uh, taking all the sludge from the machine. Thankfully, that should keep that empty, at least for a while. Um... This can hold 512,000, so, I mean, it's already at 8,000. That's not going to last too long. But at least then I can grab it and figure out what to do with sludge. I don't honestly know what sludge is for. Um, sludge. Okay, let's see. What can I do with you? Uh, in a sludge boiler... Is this, like, I can get these from... From a sludge boiler? Oh, yeah, I think that is the thing. So, if I get a sludge boiler, I can insert sludge into it, and it's going to be generating different, like dirt materials for me um now actually getting dirt from that would be handy so i could set that up um let me see i'm thinking then i could set up an area just over here where it would take the sludge boil it down and whatnot now i believe if i remember from my old file i think i used that before and being near the machine will actually poison you, so I need to move it somewhere away from where I'd be. But, however, I think this is all set and good and done. Yay, I'm going to have a uh, supply... For actually, I didn't even look to see that I'm getting the wood. Uh, Quick. Where's the wood? 163. I don't think I had that before. I think my camp was down before. Yeah, and I'm getting dirt. Just saw that move. So, yay! Okay, it all worked out. Yay, awesome. Um, so, but... um. Since last episode, I went and added a second reactor. I think I currently have it off because um, with it on for a while, it will get uh, get to the point where it's generating too much power. Um, however, so what I do is I usually I turn it on, let this thing fill up, turn it off once um, turn it off once this is full, and then turn it back on when this is um, empty again. But um, right now, this is storing power and powering everything. But yeah. Anyways, so that's where I'm going to end off the episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys with another video soon. Goodbye.